Residents and businesses in Boston's Seaport raised some money today for 18-year-old Jake Tebow. He's the hockey player who suffered a serious spinal cord injury on the ice two weeks ago. WBZ's Paul Burton says the money will help the Tebow family pay medical bills. Tebow. Boston Seaport neighbors and businesses came together on Sunday to rally behind 18-year-old Jake Tebow, the young hockey star who recently suffered a severe injury on the ice. And the sad truth of the reality is right now, he's not going to walk. In my opinion, he's going to force his legs to move again. Jake is one of the top hockey prospects in New England. He plays for Milton Academy in two private clubs. During a hockey tournament, he went into the boards hard and suffered a spinal cord injury that left him virtually paralyzed on the waist down. WBZ's Bill Shields spoke with Jake from his hospital bed in an exclusive interview last week. I'm ready to wake up and have, have some purpose again. Um, and that, what I mean by that is just like, you know, fight this thing, I'm ready to go to war with it. The funds raised today at the Lawn on D event in Southie will also go to help the Tebow family pay for medical bills. We're not a charity. We're not a foundation. We're just fellow neighbors that have a heart to help people when they need something. Last week, members of the Boston Bruins visited Jake in the hospital, including Matthew Grizzlick, who gave him a signed autograph hockey stick. I was just taken back by how strong he was, how strong his family was. Um, the attitude that he's shown already is really impressive. Blue collar kid. And you know, unbelievable work ethic, uh, energy level, positivity, uh, appreciative, humble. Uh, it's what got him where it's got him. A week out of surgery, Jake is now rehabbing at Spalding Hospital in Charlestown. Although he has a long road ahead of him, his brother says it's support like this that will give him the strength to make it through. The support has been literally his lifeline. Um, without it, I don't know where any of us would be. In South Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.